Hi there. I'm Carrie Kira Star Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman book series. And today I have with me Heather Bryant. Hi, Heather. How are you today? Good morning. Happy to be here. Yeah. We are just happy to be here today together, and we're kind of doing a series of videos on the work that you do. <laughs> and in a little bit, we'll look at your bio, but you are an amazing being who has been on the awakening path for quite a number of years, right? Right. Yeah, 2007, seven, eight. Yeah, I love that. And um, so as we are all waking up, as we are all becoming more aware and allowing our whole, um, the use of our whole greater mind, we are entering more of a quantum world. And mm -hmm. so many new tools are coming out to help us heal to help us get rid of old programs and ways that we've been conditioned. And I would say a lot of the work that you do is getting rid of that old conditioning that likes to run the show. Would you say so? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like the word clearing and processing and identifying it to begin with, right? Because, yeah, we, we do tend to come in and pick up this backpack full of, okay, I'm going to pretend to be human stuff. <laughs> and then we, we add more junk to it as with our terrible childhood and our horrible parents and our yes. relationships. Yeah. So, so that's what this is for. It's like, okay, let's, any of that stuff that's not facilitating our health and well-being and happiness and evolution, let's just toss that. <laughs> you know, let's process yes. that. Let's clear that. What is really amazing is you are using some very sensitive tools that are about frequency. Now, I do want to mention that we did a video with you last week, a great video on some of your plasma tools, plasma mm -hmm. necklaces, like what I have on. Yeah. yeah, necklace and earrings we both have on. And they're really wonderful. This is like one of the most wonderful things that I have ever worn. Um, Oh, nice. I, I'm sensitive to metals, and I love it that there's no oh, metal cord, a necklace cord. cord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, and then you have earrings that go with it for those who wear earrings, and mm -hmm. so that is on the video on my YouTube channel, 21st Century Superhuman, that we did last week, mm -hmm. and really, really, really some good info and some tools for, they can get at your Etsy store and also how to help your food last longer um, and kind of set up a protective field in the home. But today we're going to come and talk about another thing you do because you have so many just different detailed things going in your mind that you participate in and help make happen. You work 
I know mm -hmm. I was actually visiting you guys when you were working with a whole group of people with autistic children mm -hmm. and with learning how to understand and apply the frequency healing, right? Right. Yes. We, we, I guess, you know, you, you go into all these different areas to understand things more yourself, you know, for right. yourself. And then some, some part of me has got this, I, I want to understand it on a level to, to teach it to other people. I have just right. like a drive to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. and you're really a physical therapist by historical trade, right? So yes. healing and helping, or, you know, we're, we're Working with the healing process of others is just sort of, I think, in built into yeah. how you operate. Yeah, and I enjoy uh, like holding people's hands as they're going through whatever they're going through, right? Maybe, you know, honor what they're doing, but also maybe offer them a little more perspective, a, um, a little a deeper identification of what's going on and ability to, to clear it and move on from that if they choose. Right. Right. Well, tell yeah. I'd like to hear a little bit about how you guys developed this whole system how you got involved in it who you oh, worked true. with yeah because the the two things are kind of connected between the plasma side and this this clearing um side so when i was working um with uh, dr copen I'll, I'll give his name give him credit because he he really assisted me a lot during my plasma um technology days, <laughs> right? Because there's a lot of different um, possibilities of different ways that you can do those experiments, right? We get part of the information, but maybe not all of it. And you need kind of ways of saying, okay, you know, do we do it this way? Which metal, what temperature, you know? So a um, friend of ours introduced me, um, and if there, it was one of the people that we worked with with awesomeism, <laughs> introduced me to, um, I love synchronicities like that. Uh, him and and he would come in and he would use this type of a technique and this type of a connection that I'm, I've learned and, and I'm using now. Um, the the basic technique is called spiritual response therapy, right? Mm, beautiful. Yeah. So um, and and of course I incorporate that with a, all of the other things I've learned along the way, where you you know you're, you're using different techniques and tools to connect between yourself, the client you're working with, their high self basically the Akashic record and the subconscious mind, right? And, and the energetics of that being, because there, there is that intelligence there that knows what's going on, right? And how yes. to rectify it and how to um, bring all that into balance. And that's what we do is we just pull all those tools together into the session. Yes, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. This kind of emotional tone scale is also what I've taught from for years, not from mm -hmm. David Hawkins, but from several other resources. Right. And it was what we used when we healed my broken arm in three hours back in 1980, 1981 with body electronics. And what we were doing was going through the apathy, the shame, the fear, the anger, right. all those lower level emotions, clearing them up to love, to joy, yes. to gratitude. And that is where our true healing goes on. But anyway, not to interrupt your flow, um, I, but I do really love oh, that's the chart. That's, that's very that's much like what I've worked with for many years. That summarizes it, it well. You know, there's a lot of different ways of looking at the levels of consciousness and, and emotions, but I like this because it's kind of succinct, right? And it, yes. just, it just points out that... Um, like that, what I was talking about in that backpack, it's not necessarily the things that happened or who did what to who that, that is still um, aggravating you in your field and causing you to, to feel things either physically or emotionally. It's the emotions that you stored in the backpack during that time, you know, during Boy, is that important. Yeah, during like an emotionally um, difficult or scary event or traumatic um, situation. Or even, you know, the reason that you exited a certain lifetime, you know, when you um, pass away, a lot of times that's not a pleasant deal, you know, or right. you know, there, there are things, people you blamed and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So right. when you look at the scale, you can see how low all those emotions I just described are. They're down here in the hundred and below realm. The right? red zone. The red zone. So yeah. um, in that realm, um, you can only like experience a certain part of life from the highest level of emotion that you can process it through. 
right? So if my, um, like you were talking about your shoulder, I had this, you know, I'll just use my knee as an example, you know, when something comes up and you're like, okay, why is my knee all swollen? I didn't hurt it. I didn't hit it, you know, go and have all the tests and oh, no, there's nothing wrong with it. What's wrong with it? And then I had somebody check into it with this method with me. And um, sure enough, you know, there was some emotional energies that I had stored there in the time I was running away from something and shot in the knee and, you know, fell down and was about to be offed for whatever I was doing, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Right. And until, until you clear those, identify them first, right? Right. And then clear those, then the modalities and the methods or the supplements or, you know, whatever you're using for it, now they can work, right? Because there's not a reason for that to be there. Right. Um, similar to like, you know, if you're getting ready to have a surgery, say you have a, um, a tumor or some process going on in your physical body, if you're going to have that surgically removed, the, the surgery doesn't necessarily remove the energetic of that. So it's Beautiful. super important to go back and say, okay, why was that there in the first place? Because it, there's a likelihood that that energy will find another spot to sit, right? And start to grow. And Exactly. And yes. Yeah. So, you know, point being that um, the idea would be to to remove those, not remove. I like the words process and um, and clear those energies because all we're doing is identifying things that are discordant, right? Nice. And the body nice. doesn't. Um, once once that is not there, the body returns to homeostasis. Beautiful. Because it knows how to do that. It knows how to flow back into it. So then you bring yourself down, bring yourself up <laughs> from these lower you know, below a hundred energies and usually, and we'll always test this before and after a session where you're at, where your physical body is at, what frequency it's at, you know, and if it's just down here in pride, anger, um, even courage, trust in that region, it's still not really in the flow. It's still not really balanced. Right. Usually by the end of a session, we clear enough of those things where you're back up in that, at least the love and understanding realm where, nice. where things are more likely to come to you, right? Things are more likely to shift and change because you're open, right? Nice. The synchronicities tend to come in and the body feels better and your emotions are a lot lighter. <laughs> yes. And all of that. I can speak from experience. You know, I remember in my younger years, you know, I would carry around anger and blame at certain people and think, oh, it's their fault that this happened in my life. And oh, um, I'm hurting because of what they did. But it took, you know, the journey of awakening that we're really teaching in many areas to gain that understanding that this is data. I'm like a biocomputer and this is data I'm carrying around in myself. And it really has nothing to do with them at this point. It had to do with my response to them and then me carrying that old lower frequency negative emotion around. And so yeah. then there's different tools for clearing this. And I love the ones that you're using. And that's what we're here to present today, which I think are very <laughs> subtle, powerful. Um, I've had you do clearing with me and um, my husband as well. And mm -hmm. it's really wonderful. Um, it's a wonderful way to actually just get these frequencies out of there. So, so um, you know, these things are um, accumulated. We were talking about a backpack, but if you'll think now in, in the, I also, the other analogy I love is, is the file cabinet. So sometimes, you know, with the research that, that I do during the session, it can be very efficient. All you have to do is open up the office room that's full of file cabinets you know, just an, enough to bring that energy forward to go ahead and clear it. But sometimes you have to go into the room. Sometimes you have to find the specific file cabinet. Sometimes you have to actually open the drawer and pull out the file and the paper that it's on in order to clear it. Um, it just kind of depends on how deep you've pushed that down. Um, you know, people talk about the layers of the onion <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Right. And some people have them kind of firewalled off and their, their spirit and soul are like, no, let's not let go of that. And um, and so sometimes we have to work with, with that level of you as well is to go in and see on a spiritual and soul level. You know, people talk about the different dimensions that there's 11 or 12 layers of you. Sometimes we have to go down through those different layers and identify either where you've blocked yourself or um, there's a lot of 
discordant energies flying around interdimensionally up in the air and the food we eat, you know, things that you may or may not choose to, <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and the cool thing is all of that, you know, is like you said, is an energy. It's a frequency, even, you know, pathogens, you know, things like that. They're all frequency. And um, what I love about this system is it not only identifies what that causative factor is, the initial seed, the initial program, it also clears it real quick. Like most, most systems that I observed and studied um, through the years, especially in the mainstream system, right? Sometimes they're okay at identifying, you know, why you and your mother are can't get along or something like that. You know, you can kind of say what, what your limitation is, but how to clear it, you know, right. you, you can just kind of carry that, that awareness around for a lifetime going, okay, well, how do I clear that? And, right. And this, this does it rather efficiently. So beautiful. And, yeah. and this, people this might way. really need to enlarge this to look at it, but this is a really beautiful chart that you've developed, I think. Right. I kind of melded together about 10 different charts. <laughs> Just just out of, um, you know, trying to understand kind of how things are organized in the subconscious mind. Right. And then through right. the more etheric levels of ourself, um, it's based off of what's called the bovis scale of biophotonic light. So, wow. you know, the overall concept is we, we all are, um, you know, full of full of light. We have the light coming through us shining through our physical and emotional and mental bodies. But it just kind of depends on how much clutter we have in there as to how much is actually shining through that prism. Oh, that's a great, that's a great description. Like if you have a dirty window, there the you light's going to come through, but it would be filtered somewhat. Exactly. And was was Bovis a person? I mean, somebody that figured yes. this out? Yes, he, he used... Um, a similar technique, he used a pendulum as well as this little biometer thing um, and kind of initially developed this. And then a lot of people have taken it um, a little further, but he would use it more to, you know, say like, um, what, what's the vibration of this um, little herbal supplement that I'm getting ready to take or this tincture? Um, you know, does it still have the same amount of light that like if it's a tincture of, of tea tree, you know, does it have the same amount of biophotonic light as, as what comes off the plant, right? Or more mm -hmm. or less, or is it dead and it's not even use, you know, there's no use taking this because it has no life left in it. Um, I like it because I can measure my different waters. Nice. You know, like like bottle, bottled water is <laughs> way down low on the scale and then the plasma water is way over on the right side. So it's pretty obvious. Nice. And I, we probably don't want to take time for me to describe the whole thing, but I'll just kind of give a general idea if people want to look at it more later. There's a, a line in the middle between the um, the little red arrow and the little green arrow. Uh -huh. That's kind of neutral middle level. As far as the amount of light, you're just kind of in neutral. And then to the to the left of that, um, towards the, the red arrow, those are, you know, kind of the fit we call the physical realm, but the kind of the, the negative portion of that, everything in that side or with that limited amount of light is basically not coherent. It's um, operating on the principle of entropy where things break down and die and degenerate and eventually, mm. yeah, because they have less and less light, right? You right. can't run a physiological system with very little light running through it. Right, and goes, very good, beautiful. Uh, I, I love that. It, it explained a lot of things to me, really, that I was just trying to put together in my mind. And then, of course, on the right side where the green arrow is going, that, that's progressively more and more generative energy. You know, they, nice. they call it neg entropy, double negative, but whatever, um, where, you know, things that, that are <clears throat> further along that scale, like you would take your um, your fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, your juices that you're making, um, things like that, the, the live foods and live water that you would get from the top of a mountain or plasma water, things like that, nice. progressively higher on the scale. And so I use it, you know, again, to do a pre and post measurement of the person doing the session, 
right? Because nice. if they're in a state, a state of disease and dysfunction, you know, they're probably sometimes they're hanging out here on the the left side of that red arrow, <laughs> and um, right. you know, the body is just experiencing these on and off intermittent chronic diseases and stuff. And so then, by being able to read this, does this help you know kind of how to run your program? Yeah, it it um it I use it first as a pre and post test. Um, and then I will use it to say, okay, you know, I can measure things here and say, you know, this is kind of where this person is at consciously. And so I kind of know what kind of verbiage to use and what kind of understanding to use uh -huh. with them as well and what type of techniques to present them with, nice. right? Because if they're functioning, you know, just barely above that neutral line, um, it might be a very different conversation to, you know, if they're up here in the Christ consciousness realm, <laughs> you know? Right. And if somebody's carrying a lot of negative energies, then yeah. that's going to be uh, setting up the conditions for dis-ease and, uh, like you said, entropic energies to take place. Yep. It's just an indication of, oh boy, they've got a lot of, <laughs> they came in here with a lot of things to potentially work through and release, right? So, And in your experience, do most of these things, you're able to help clear them, right? Oh, yes. Um, they um, clear, and I think even more and more efficiently right now, we're going through some sort of a space in the cosmos and the energies that are, there's a whole lot of grace with it. Nice. You know, whereas Beautiful. before it might have taken more sessions or more time to do these kind of things and more research, um, I'm finding that that they're they're just releasing left and right nice very yeah. cool okay shall we go take a look at your website right yeah because i think it's kind of it's important for people to see that there's different types of sessions that they can we can just kind of give an overview of that um the one that i encourage people to do first if at all possible is the basic <clears throat> clearing because, I mean, it's it's two hours long, but it's a very useful investment of that time. My goodness, the, the number of things that we clear compared to what I call a specific issue session, which would be about an hour, right? Where you come in with, okay, my left knee hurts. What so you have a really lovely website. And one thing I really like is um, that your initials are HB for Heather Bryant. <laughs> And your website below is hblifesolutions.live mm -hmm. and then HB for Heart Bridge Solutions yes. is the name of your website. I just love that. I think that's just super cool. Oh, I, I got that name years ago. I was doing some check-ins with some of the adult autistic children and um, some things that we were working with with them. And that, that was just, you know, me hanging out with, with this young lady. And I was like, well, by the way, you know what, what, this is something I'm thinking about doing in the future. What would be a good name for, you know, what I'm, what I'm considering doing. And that's what came up. So that's beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It stayed with me through the years. <laughs> we scroll down three levels of potential solutions to support our co-creation of a new earth. I love that. Mm -hmm. And Clear Life Solutions is your online sessions, right? And your reports that provide energetic clearing, guidance, support, and information to help guide you as you traverse your steps through life. And then you let people schedule a 15-minute free session to find out yes. what session is right for them. Yeah, and just get to know each other and see if, you know, it's something that, that they do want to do. Mm -hmm. Right. And here we are, your testimonials down here. Here's myself and my husband. Mm -hmm. um, we had really amazing accuracy with you identifying body, mind, and spirit issues and clearing and your charts are in so much detail. Really beautiful. Mm -hmm. In the about section, mm -hmm. um, you've been a physical therapist for 33 years. Wow. And outpatient and rehab clinics traditional medical education, but you really wanted to help people in more effective ways. And mm -hmm. so in your quest for answers to health challenges for patients and family, you began to discover a whole new world of wisdom from the naturopathic and metaphysical fields. Working with children on the autistic spectrum in schools and homeschooling, 
Your daughter with dyslexia also led you to discovering how different minds and souls require different unique tools. And so some of the resources that have added to Heather's level of awareness and toolbox of ways mm -hmm. to assist others is um, Reconnective Healing, Eric Pearl, Law of Attraction, Esther Hicks, Awesomeism and Spherical Technology, Susie Miller, Blue Body Healing, Ramtha School of Enlightenment. I've spent a little time there too. <laughs> Access Consciousness, I love that. Dr. Mm -hmm. Dane here. GANs and Plasma Technology, of course, which we're both part of um, through the MT Cash Foundation. Consciousness and Energy and Getting Well Naturally with Penny Kelly. And I know and love Penny Kelly. We produced a workshop at her farm probably 10 years ago or 12 years ago. That's so cool. I didn't know that about you. That's just fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think it was shortly, I can't remember if Dr. Leavenworth passed shortly oh, before or shortly after we were there. And then, of course, I've worked with Patty Greer, too, on the crop mm -hmm. circle stuff. And then Penny Kelly and Dr. Leavenworth were measuring the life force in the bent pieces yeah. of wheat and how yeah. much more radiant it was than normal. And, right. Um, uh, and just Penny's descriptions of some of the plasma science that they were doing, which was right. from a totally different setting than we were doing, has really explained a lot to me. And, and just her concepts, we have a lot. Just I'll just say on that YouTube channel, I have the excerpts out there that, of things that she has shared with us. Her awareness is about, you know, the, the plasma technology. She has asked us at some point to make some of that stuff to send to her, her Patreon people so that they yes. can. She and was. that was your, um, that's at your web, your uh, YouTube channel, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And what is the name of that? One with Light. One with Light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it'd be really fun, too. You and I and Penny could do a show sometime together and talk about some Oh, would, would love that. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Um, so 12 Strands of DNA and the Human Akash with uh, Chiron, Lee Carroll, Unified Physics, Nassim Haraman, Biology of Belief, Bruce Lipton, Spontaneous Healing of Belief, Greg Braden, Spiritual Response Therapy, Robert Dietzler, and many others. And I just love it. You know, we've all been in this kind of soup of awakening consciousness, developing yeah. our skills, honing our ability and our understanding how to clear things in this quantum world. Yeah, connecting the, the dots because so many of them are so similar Right. And I love right. to hear it from different people's perspectives and uh, just see the overall. Oh, OK, well, it makes sense what we're doing. Right. Oh, OK. Right. Well, that's one of my girls on there. <laughs> oh, great. How cute. Yes, I use their, their pictures from their trip on, on our website. But nice. um, yeah, from here we can go to the um, the, the services tab. Right. That way we can give just an overview of of the different ways that people can start with this because it. Um, it, you know, you may want to jump right in and let's just grab that entire backpack from this lifetime and all the others and all the file cabinets <laughs> and let's go ahead and, and, and do that real um, succinctly in a, in a couple hour session. And so you do your sessions online, right? And then you oh, give yes. the people a report that provides mm -hmm. clearing support and information to help clear your way to a more balanced experience of life. Yeah, the, the first tab there that says basic right basic hearing um <clears throat> that's the one that i was talking about okay well that's that's the person that says okay let's just do this <laughs> right right jump like, in jump yeah, into the deep end you're the most common discordant emotional programs that, that humans come in with right we do get an overlay when we come in that says okay this is how we pretend to be a human yes um, and uh, some of it is ours and some of it is not ours. Some of it is just collective crap. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, so it, it includes a lot of things, but the things that really stand out to people usually are mother-father issues, right? right? Both this lifetime, other lifetimes. Even when you were a mother or a father, you created some you know issues that way as well. Um, and then primary relationship issues. I always ask people if there's you know a certain being in this lifetime it really gets under their skin <laughs> or that right. they not be around or haven't, you know, resolved things with. And we make sure and, and clear that relationship from their side. 
Um, and we do that with a primary relationship in this lifetime as well as another lifetime, right? Nice. And then we find what, what is the seed of that, right? Because usually if you're having issues in this lifetime, it happened before or you did it to them or they did it to you or, you know, it just builds up, builds up, builds up. And we just go find the original point of creation. Nice. Okay. And I will say, Heather, you are so detailed. Shall I go to general flow of the session here? Um, I'll just say the last three or four things that are involved in the basic clearing, basic clearing. That, are, that are still on this page here. So we did mother, father issues, relationship issues. We resolve vows and contracts that are not serving you, which there's can be a lot, especially with light workers. <laughs> um, right. end, of, end of life plans, anytime that you, you know, made it out of a lifetime, it was probably by dying. <laughs> and there were usually right. some things around that, that, um, that you probably carried a lot of um, uh, conclusions about, right? Traumatic experiences that you've had. Um, and then, then we identify all of your, your blocks and interferences to direct healing, because normally you would rebalance yourself, right? And if you're not rebalancing yourself, then there's, there's reasons for that. So that, that's kind of the little summary of the basic clearing. Wow. And I just want to say, you have such a detailed mind. It is really incredible what you encompass in one of these sessions. And it's just, it's almost, you know, it's like my conscious mind can't keep up with it, but I know my other than conscious mind does keep up with it and receive it. And, well, I'm um, glad you brought that up because a lot of times people will say, well, I don't feel that way, you know, and, it, you know, if they say, well, if there's an anger issue here, you know, about <clears throat> a certain um, body in a certain body part or, you know, in a certain type of relationship. And they'll, they'll say, I don't feel that. And it's like, well, that's because it's not in your conscious mind. It's in your subconscious mind. Very good. Right? And so it's it's not um you're not really aware of it, but it's it's playing in the background and it's being like a constant um, projector of your experience. Right. Okay. So we'll go down to that specific issue and that's where that comes up. Um, so it did basic. We'll go down to the next, that little green one there says specific issue. Right. Here. And uh, yeah, maybe a little bit higher just because okay. the beginning of it. Oh, got it. There you go. There you go. So some people, instead of wanting to do the, the, the full clearing <laughs> and jumping in with both feet, they want to just stick a toe in the water and say, hmm, let's see. So why is my left thumb always get aggravated in November? You know, or, or right. why is um, why am I not reaching a certain goal or things like that? Nice. Um, so in that case, we can go in and um, and it's, it's really interesting. It's kind of like. Um, forensic medicine or investigative reporting, and you can actually go in and see um, what is the point of creation of that? You know, mm. is, it in this, is it in this lifetime? Is it in another lifetime? It can be in a past lifetime. It can even be in a parallel lifetime, which is also- I may need to have you check on my big left toe joint. My left oh, you toe. <laughs> my left foot, <laughs> big toe kidding, joint. I was just kidding, yes, it happens. <laughs> right? What and is the you, beginning what I love this? is you can ask what percentage of it is physical, right? If it's a physical, yes. illness. because you know me being in the physical therapy, I mean, traditional medical model is it is all you know. The only reason for this is because you fell and bonked your knee, right? And the only cure for this is you need to take this da 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 da, da. Um, which I find very infrequently is that even accurate <laughs> to begin yeah. with. And Plus especially as a physical therapist, because that's what you had to deal with, what we, we would call 3D, right? The 3D oh, yeah. version of ourselves instead of all these other layers of our emotions, our consciousness, how things got initiated. Yeah, it's such so wonderful to be able to dig into this stuff. Yeah, and to, to find, is it accurate? Because our, our mind comes up with all of our little reasons. Well, you know, it's because my brother didn't, didn't watch me well enough when I fell off the, the slide or something, you know, that kind right. of thing, which, which did happen. And there's probably some baggage because of that, but it probably goes a lot deeper than that. Right. Right. You know, maybe you pushed him off the slide when you were his sister in another lifetime, you know? Oh, very we, good. We, so I'll just kind of read through like the, some of the ideas of why people might try a specific issue session. Okay. Right? Are we um, in the right place? Yeah. Okay. So it says examples of, right? So phobias are a really good um, 
thing that they clear really quickly, there's always some sort of an energetic reason for a phobia, right? Um, mm. uh, skin conditions, like I mentioned, pre or post surgery, um, any kind of physical issue, right? You know, just kind of the question we start with is what is your body trying to tell you? And what percent of it is physical? And then we go up those trees, right? Mm -hmm. um, some people are, you know, working on goals. They have a goal of setting up a business and, you know, why, why am I not getting clients, you know? And, and there's a whole, I've got a whole list of um, like a goal progression. Where are you wow. at? Where are you at in this goal? And what is your block to getting to the next step? Nice. Right? right. And what needs to be cleared so that you can, and you'll ask, you know, you ask their subconscious mind, you know, they, what percent do they really want the clients? Right. And it's like, you know, 30%, 20%. <laughs> it's like, well, why do they not want the clients? You know, are they, what are they afraid of? What is, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So that really helps. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have physical things that either go away for a while and then they come back and they go away and they come back. Usually there's some sort of an energetic reason there. And the fun thing is to look up, you know, what was the trigger to that? Because it can be all different things, right? It can be a trigger in, in this lifetime, a similar person came into your experience, a similar age even that you're at, um, a similar place, you know, to, to where whatever happened in a, in a previous experience. So we, we tease out the triggers and then, then go after the energies. So interesting. So, and then a lot of things about um, allergies, sensitivities, limited assimilation of foods and, and dietary things. I love going through people's um, vitamin and mineral list, right? And supplement list. Because mm -hmm. we, can, we can see, you know, what level of uh, frequency that the, that um, supplement is created at, you know, because if it's right. being created at a level of fear, you may or may not <laughs> order that one, <laughs> you know. Um, and you know what level of integrity the company is is at. Um, what are their intentions, right? And are they nice. um, <clears throat> a benevolent type of an organization? And then we ask your body if it's assimilating those things, right? And nice. if it's not, then why, right? And and which which one which forms would it prefer? That kind nice. of stuff. So lots of possibilities. Oh, and then pets. I got to mention pets because they're easy. Um, yeah. You know, a lot easier than humans. So I love working with, you know, like rescued pets or just anybody's pets, really. I've had people call me for different kinds of things, you know, one that's just sick or acting skittish. They don't know why or throwing up and, you know, been to the doctor a million times and still don't understand it. Mostly, usually it's an energetic reason. Nice. And, a lot of, and a lot of times they're trying to process things energetically for their human. So if right. they, yeah, that's another thing we look at. Nice. So I think that's basically. This is the, the um, so this is the more complete life coach and clearing, right? And then you have the free 15 minute consultation. Right. If you're not real sure where to start or what to do, I'm happy to have a little convo with you and, and talk about what your, your situation is and what would be a good fit where to start. Nice. Should mm -hmm. we look at the testimonials a minute? Mm-hmm. That that always amazes me, and it was so fun and heartwarming to to like as I was starting this website, I just kind of did a shootout to my friends that I'd done sessions with on the side for the last years, right, <laughs> and said, "Hey, could you write me a little experience up?" And it was just so cool what I got back. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks the images aren't showing up really well on my Mac. That might be something to check on your um on your the way your website is set up. But anyway, Heather holds amazing space of unconditional acceptance. She was able to clear a looping attachment I had in the past with a friend. I'm still friends with this person, but no attachment. Huge. Thanks, Heather from Lori in Arizona. I had my first dowsing session with Heather back in 2019. She incorporates all areas of potential diagnosis from physically to interdimensional influence. She covers all the bases, and this is why I've been a customer ever since. Whenever I have a question regarding a health concern, I call Heather for a second opinion. <laughs> Elizabeth, um, somewhere in Washington, USA. My session with Heather was truly wonderful. The clearing at the various levels she works in made me feel crystal clean. Her plasma solutions are also an important part of my day. As we're mm -hmm. able to clear and detox at deeper levels, the plasma supports this and also to stay in balance. I love Heather's work. Peace, Susan. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. And there's more. People can go to your website and read those and check in. Yeah, and that's really going to give people a little bit of maybe of an idea of the types of things that, that we can work with together, too. Okay. And then you have a contact form here if they want to get a hold of you, right? Yep. And <laughs> anything else on the website or are we good? Um, well, it, there were some little columns on the left side of the services page. And I'll just, you know, prompt people maybe to go back and look at that um, as well as some of the other tabs, right? If you want to know more about the sessions, what we, you know, what we do and what I don't do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, and then um, there's other tabs for the general flow of the session and as well as some samples. So got it. With those other tabs. Great. Yeah. yeah. And then the life coach and clearing sessions together. We will what we will do, what this mm -hmm. is not and yeah. what this is. And that's really nice. Very clear, well laid out. I think people can come and learn. And again, your, uh, hbsolutions.live is your website. It's down at the bottom mm -hmm. of the page. I think that's really great. It's maybe sometime we could just do, uh, you could even use me as your guinea person and uh, oh, do, a okay. do a little session online. That would be really fun. Ah, okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. That'd be great. Yeah. Down on this, the, the thing that I wanted to give everybody was maybe do a um, like a quick, just a short, maybe a, a minute or two, a few sentences of some clearings that they can do on great. their own. Because you don't great. necessarily have to sit down with a practitioner or another person to do, do these types of things, especially once you start getting the hang of it. There are so many tools and I tend to send people afterwards. I'll, I go through my list of like 32 resources that I can think of and I'll ask their high self, which, which one should I point them to? Great. Right. Let me things. go ahead. I'll put you on full screen while you're doing that. So you're more okay. visible and I'll just let you go ahead and do your thing. So I, um, so I asked <clears throat> this morning, which one of these, um, post-session tools that would be useful for the people that are listening to this program. And I, I pulled up this one. It's the vow contract and agreement release statements. Okay. Cause I we like have, those. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Cause we have made, you know, throughout our times and lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes, um, some, some vows and conclusions that are probably not super beneficial to our continued ability to flow energy, right? We put a lot of blocks <laughs> in there because we've had some pretty rough experiences probably, right? And been run out of town and burned at the stake, who knows what. So um, I am going to go ahead and read down through these. And then so the people that are listening can either, you know, repeat after me type of thing to themselves, or they can listen back to this later and, um, and you, even listening through it or speaking it out loud, I think is super powerful as well. Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do these. Um, and these are good for empaths. Also, people that feel other people's energies a lot and tend to take that on. Nice. Ugh. And someone is also asking, can this help uh, relieve past life residue as well? Yes, that's that is like the primary emphasis of all the things I'm discussing. And this is particular to the vows, contracts and agreements that are no longer serving you. So. I'm going to, I'll go ahead and read those. It, it's not much. It's about five or six different sentences. Okay. <clears throat> so, and you can choose to, you know, allow this or not at this point. I always like to give people free will. You can just say, nah, not for me. Okay. So, um, the first thing I'm going to say is, is the term abracadabra, <laughs> the things that I speak, I create, right? So, mm. it, Super mindful of what you say after I am, I choose, or I will, or I am ready. And, <clears throat> and um, so this is a lot of I choose statements, right? Okay. I now rescind all vows, contracts, contracts, and agreements to be codependent on others, allow others to be codependent on me, or assist others with clearing hate or other discordant energies. Others, including incarnated beings, as well as the discarnates, separates, extra souls, and their programs. Those are the others we're talking about. <clears throat> to be punished, to be savior, to rescue others, to allow others to live through me, or to suffer for others. Mm. 
to be a martyr, to be controlled, to be run by others' negative programs or energies, and to pick up others' energies. Wow. To allow my energy to be misused or misdirected, to be tracked by others, to be to pledge loyalty to any group or being other than source, to be poor, to be sick or helpless, and to abdicate my responsibilities. I revoke any and all other vows made consciously or unconsciously from all incarnations, all levels of my conscious and subconscious mind, and all bodies <clears throat> that are no longer serving me. I choose to say, op stay open to my daily guidance and decisions that are for my highest good here and now, based on my clear connection to universal source, 100% light energy at the highest coherent, most benevolent level. I now mm. declare these. <clears throat> I now declare these non-beneficial vows, contracts, and agreements null and void in this incarnation, and all incarnations across time, space, all parallel realities, universally parallel universes, alternate realities, all planetary systems, source systems, realms, timelines, and dimensions back to the void. Woo! So that really covers a lot. That's really beautiful. So the last statement I'll make is I now choose to reconfigure my physical, mental, emotional body, all layers, levels, bodies, minds, timelines, and trajectories based on these clearings. So we now have a new set point, right? Not that other one we had before we did that. Very good. And I'll maybe we can put those, that little thing, you, the segments that you just read, maybe oh, yeah. we can put it, put it under the video and then people will can actually reread it and use it. Okay, very good. I have it on a little PDF too. So whichever way <clears throat> you want to do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah either I way. Love I love, you know, giving people things that they can just do and receive from and, and take yeah. care of. Hey, cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, Heather, thank you so much for being here today. You're I welcome. hope that some people who listen to this broadcast will go to your website, hblifesolutions.live and mm -hmm will find you and your wonderful work and clear some of their layers with you because it's really a cool thing. Yeah, and it's time. <laughs> it's going it to be teased out of you at some point. So it's better to, to take the reins and get her done. <laughs> That's right. Get out the broom and dustpan and get rid of that old stuff and don't carry it around anymore. It is really time for all of us to just let go of our old garbage to breathe and smile and love and move up in frequency to the higher levels of that chart that you showed. Right. And it's working. <laughs> That's yeah. all, all I can say. It is working. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Well, we'll be on with you again one of these days very soon and okay. um, have an awesome day. And we send you big hugs across the miles and yes. thank you so much. Thank you, Carrie. Bye everybody. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Adios. Down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are. Whoa, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration, and these words can take you far. I am a 21st century superhuman, and I know that the answers are inside. 21st century superhuman now, now, now is the time.
Adios. Ciao bye ciao. Bye. bye. And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are. Well now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. First century superhuman I know that the answers are inside I am 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time